my goodness. Yes! Amazing. What was that? I don't know. I, don't, I was I don't watching know. you stall very well. I, I, you know, I just run my mouth very well. That's <laughs> pretty much what I do. Let me turn this up. How are you? How are you? First of all, how are as everyone in your family, including yourself? We're good. We're all you're very good. good. Yeah, yeah I, I imagine you're tired of talking about it, and and you know, you you've gotten through it. But it's. What was your experience? I, I have to ask because when I read it in your entire family, like I drove, I live in LA, but I drove to Phoenix to come support my parents and just be there with them. So I can imagine that it can be a bit difficult. Yeah, um, it was a surprise, first of all, because I felt so bad. Like I didn't even know I had it initially. Um, so during off season, I don't have a house. I haven't bought one yet. Um, so anyway, so I'm at home and I just had weird symptoms. I thought I was sick. I thought I had the flu. Went to the hospital. They said, you don't have the flu, but you have flu-like symptoms. But there were no tests at that time. Um, you know, we, my whole family basically got it the first two weeks of quarantine. So oh, wow. we were learning with, like, the country. Um, wow. Yeah, so I got sick. Uh, maybe two or three days later, my dad gets sick. The next day, my mom's sick. Um, then I kind of got a little better, but then mm -hmm. my mom got really, really bad. She um, she has bronchitis, so she got pneumonia. She had to go to the hospital. But, yeah. but every everybody's through the woods. Everybody's doing well. Yeah, everyone's good. My mom is actually a healthcare worker. She uh, is a labor and delivery nurse, so she actually had to go back to work uh, last Tuesday. So do you do you hear that on your end, or is it just on my end? Um, I think is it good now? No, it just sounds like someone's like trying to tackle uh, my phone. No. There we go. Is that better? There we go. Is We're it better. good better? So maybe yeah. it might have been me. Okay. It's it okay. It, no, it's, everything is my fault. I've I've gone by <laughs> this. I've gone by this my entire life, and it's actually worked pretty well for me. Mm -hmm. uh, ladies and gentlemen, again, we had to do the introduction. I'm Richard Jackson. So this is Big Mama Staff Stephanie Dawson. I want to know. Yes. One thing right now. I was looking at pictures and I saw this amazing hair that you had. And so oh, I true. asked, I asked around, I asked Chanae, I asked some people and they're like, I was like, was she like the Dennis Rodman? Did she just have all the wild hair? And they were laughing. They're like, yeah, she was very, she, she, they, they said you were very uh, experimental with your hair. Where did that come from? Where did that idea just to go random? Cause it was purple. Yeah. Um, I think it was like, because I also got tattoos. It was basically, you know how everyone leaves college and they just kind of go crazy? Well, most yes. people. Mm -hmm. So that kind of happened to me. I went, I left UConn, and everyone knows UConn's very systematic. Like, mm -hmm. you can't, you know, kind of break the rules. I left UConn. I, at first, I wanted to shave my head when I was at UConn. Okay. Like yeah. the half head. Like the, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, CD, the, the, the Rihanna. The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah I got you. Shout that down quick. Um, oh, really? really? Yeah, really? really quick. Yeah, she was like, if you do that, you're not playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think once I left, I was just like, F it. Like, I just went purple. I bleached it. And went just, all the just, way. just have fun. You guys are supposed to be starting training camp right now. Right. Yeah. So, so have you guys had communication? Because everyone asks me, like, I'm still in the NBA and I have any type of clue what's going on. Has there been mm -hmm. any sort of communication, like, especially like baseball? Everything's shut down, but it's. Yeah. Has there been any talk by your players' association about what you guys are thinking or what would be even healthy or safe? Not. I mean, well, there has been talk, but there hasn't really been any. Um, leeway i mean like we haven't made any progress because the country mm -hmm. and the world hasn't uh mm -hmm. like been able to, to do anything so at this point we're all just kind of waiting around hoping for the best uh -huh. i just got oh. a net i just put up the net there you go now i can shoot now you can shoot now you can, shoot. now you can shoot it's like you felt like it's like wait i feel like right now my body is trained to be doing something other something. than sitting around yeah. Something. Has it been difficult to kind of stay in shape and just to kind of make sure that you're ready whenever that call? Uh, I heard that, you know, for a lot of the women that play internationally that, hey, this is kind of what we do. We just like train and then stay at home when you're playing in Russia or you're playing in China yeah. or you're playing in Europe. So this is I don't want to say isolation is normal, but it, it's not new to you guys. Yeah, I was I said that to my uh, family the, the other day that it was 
basically I'm in China again because yeah. in China it's the same thing. You sit al uh, sit alone, you wait for practices, you go, you come back, and I have jigsaw puzzles overseas, like <laughs> random stuff. Yeah. So it's basically the same. Um, and unfortunately for me, I am very good at laying around and just eating. So I've been trying to get to not eat. get before eighteen fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went, I, I went the other way. I, I started trying to work out as much as possible. Right. Like that's that's what I got obsessive over because it's yeah. like, yo, it, it, we don't know if it's going to be six weeks or six months. So I just got, um, uh, yeah, yeah. I just got super into the working out. But I wanted to go back. I wanted to kind of go back and talk about Gino. You were talking about mm -hmm. uh, uh, UConn. They run a very very tight ship there. Yeah. Look, tell tell people about like your experience there and it you know you're an eclectic individual trying to fit into like a very structured system do you have any great yeah. Gino stories for me um i feel like the only stories i remember are like the not so good ones those are the ones with great stories those are the ones i know okay so there's two that i remember they're not okay feel hello sorry there you there um back. they're not gonna feel like Okay, they're not going to feel as funny as they were, but I'll yes. tell them. Um, so one practice, Gino, you know, we're all practicing right up and down. And he, like, stops the whole practice. He takes out his little booklet of paper, and he puts it on the ground. And something happened. I think I just got a rebound, which I can't say I do that often. But I do <laughs> okay. get some now and then. Yeah, every once in a while. Every once in a while. Yeah. And he goes, he was like, Steph, come here. I was like, oh, God, what's happening? And this was a freshman. He was like, jump over this paper. I was like, okay. So I just jump over. And basically, he was announcing to everyone that that's as high as I just got to get the rebound. Like, he's just an asshole. <laughs> yeah, aren't they all assholes? Like, I, I, had, I had Greg Popovich, one of my all-time favorite. But he yeah. also worked this. He was just a full-time, lovable yeah. asshole. Like yeah. he, he would just lovable cuss us out. Exactly. Lovable asshole. Where it's like you love him, but oh no, no, but he's an asshole. But once yeah. you learn to accept that, uh, what was it like playing? Look, you won two national championships. Your team, uh, UConn, has been the most dominant athletic program probably in U.S. history. If you look at what they accomplished, obviously there was US, UCLA basketball, Kentucky yeah. men's basketball. But what you guys have been able to accomplish in that tradition, how special is it? to be a part of that? Um, it's really special. I think for someone like me, um, you know, we can't all kind of have the, have the accolades and some players like Sue, Diana, Stewie. But for me to know that I was a part of that history, if you will, and, and I'm a part of that family, mm -hmm. um, it's always so special to me and, um, you know, kind of shows myself that I was at that level, you know, in the yeah. college ball. And like, I was there, I was, doing well I was successful mm -hmm. um, so it's it's an honor to be a part of that family yeah no it is and I, and I look I have a couple of things do you guys have a team text chain are there anybody with androids because the Lopez twins it was just released that they are not a part of the team text chain with the Milwaukee Bucks because they have Android so their little green bubble doesn't pop yeah. up they don't have iPhones are, are you do you guys have a team team text chain in Chicago yes oh absolutely and I think okay. we had last year we had one player who she was from overseas. Uh -huh. uh, she had like a different type of phone, and it ended up being like fifteen different text chains because every time you text, <laughs> it goes to a separate one, and we're like, "What is happening?" So she finally yeah. got a phone. Yeah, we're all yeah. good now. E yeah, everybody. Look, look. One of the if quarantine has taught us anything. Everyone has to have the same type of phone. That, that's yes. the one thing. That's, it, it just makes life so much simpler. I know. We just made our sister. We have been forcing her to get an iPhone because I'm sick of doing WhatsApp when I'm in America. Like, I'm over I, it. I'm actually, not, I'm not anti WhatsApp, but okay. Look, I we always. Point. What, I, I get it. I, see, I, the reason why I like WhatsApp is because I don't want to come into my text chain and then see 97 memes, seven text chains. So if you put them all in WhatsApp, when you're ready to go be distracted, you can just go into WhatsApp and do it. That's, yeah, my, that's, that's my theory. That's but true. yes. Get rid of the Android phone. Get an iPhone if you want to be a part of this club. Yeah. We always play a this or that question. So I'm just a couple of quick mm -hmm. questions. I just want to, I, I like to get to. Not to get, would you rather text or FaceTime? Uh, neither, but text. Text, neither, but text. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, would you rather be the passenger or the driver? Driver. Driver, 100%. You're the yeah. driver. I got it. I yes. got it. Okay, Control. Cool. Instagram or Twitter? Ooh. 
Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. You, you just got a puppy. You just got a, like you just got a puppy. Good for you. Thanks. Like I, yeah, I, like that. That's a how like how boy or girl. Uh, he's a boy. His name's Obi Wan. Good for you, little Star Wars so, joint. Just yeah. and so I saw two dogs. Are both of the are both of them yours, or one is yours and it's a family dog? Yeah. So one is mine. Uh, he's okay. A boy poodle. And oh. then the other one is Obi Wan is like our families. Oh, okay. Okay, family. All right. The 2013 championship or the 2014 championship? 14. 14? Why? Yeah. Because I was a senior. It was so special. Oh. And that was the year that we won. And I think two days or a day later, the men's team won. Yeah. Yeah. Stop bragging. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stop bragging. Uh, I lost in the national championship game. No one cares. Pippin or Rodman? <laughs> Pippin or Rodman? Ooh, Pippin. Pippin? Okay, yeah, Pippin's a little Pippin. Uh, the MJ crying meme or MJ looking at the iPad meme? Crying. Crying. It's the so crying relatable. One. It's so yes. relatable. Yeah, and, it just, and it's everywhere. It, it, yes. And it's everywhere. So, it is, it is. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much. I'm glad you and your, your family are healthy again thank and you. safe. Good luck this upcoming season. I can't wait to watch you guys play. Hopefully, you. you guys can get started. Hopefully we can all get started and get to working again. But thank you so much. Everybody, go follow Big Mama Steph on Instagram. She's got a beautiful new puppy, and I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. No well, thank problem. you for having me. Thanks for coming on. See ya. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.